Marcos Shimizu likes to experiment and taught himself how to make tasty fermented foods like miso. In Japan, life revolves around food. People like to go out to eat and to eat well. This mentality is still in its infancy in Germany, if it ever fully develops at all. Markus Shimizu has specialized in traditional fermentation methods and makes his products by hand in his store. Here he mixes soybeans with rice and then sprinkles the mixture with koji fungus, which produces a tasty mold during storage. In Japan, there are great machines which do this. You can use koji to make something savory, like soy sauce or miso. But you can also use it to make something very sweet, like amasaki, which is very sugary. Or you can then turn this sugar into alcohol or vinegar. There's something for every taste. Marcus studied art in the Netherlands and in Berlin, and he still feels close to the art world. His wife is also an artist. The Koenig Gallery, based in a former church, is among his favorite places in Berlin. For me, this space is Japanese because it exudes a sense of calm and is minimalist. I really like it. As an artist, too, Markus Shimizu always loved to experiment. I didn't have any fixed medium, like painting. I always made installations or did project-based art, mixed media, so to speak, and I also did a lot with microorganisms, like projects with biogas, and in India, a biological water purification project. And this, for me, is the next step. At his shop, Mimi Ferments, Markus Shimizu doesn't just ferment soybeans and rice. He also experiments with bread, eggs and vegetables. This is red beet miso, which is pretty good. I made it from rice and red beet. And it's great, but rice with barley isn't so good. It's just a little difference, but sometimes that makes for a big difference in taste. Many of Berlin's top chefs have heard about Marcus's products and are using them in their food creations, like at the two-star restaurant Facile. It's great to be able to work with them, and it's really fun because they also have similar creative concepts and we can exchange ideas. It's also a kind of validation. His miso gives these dishes the distinctive savory taste that the Japanese call umami. The products can be used in a variety of ways. We currently use them in our beef glaze. We use really strong beef broth and then we add this miso to it, which gives it a really great aroma. And then we take these fermented lentils. We use them as a side dish to create a little taste explosion. Employing Japanese traditions as his ticket to success in Berlin was never part of Marcus's plans. Sure, it's nice to introduce people to things from your homeland. And it's something that's not very well known, so that makes me happy. But I'm doing this mainly because it comes so naturally. <laughs> the name Mimi Ferments is a play on the Japanese characters for taste and beauty. And that great combination has proved the secret to Marcus Shimizu's success.